I have a sandwich. It's got lunch meat. Uh, it's got Swiss cheese and uh, mustard on it. And I also have uh, little bites, which uh, I'm guessing don't taste that good. But it's been a really long time since I've had one. So I thought maybe, you know, get the nostalgia wave. Let's get it. Let's find out how this is. It's a chocolate chip one, you know. Um. Oh. That... That isn't the best thing in the world. Hey, everybody! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That was not how you want to start that one. Hello, people! Welcome back! It's Stoned Owl. Stoned Owl plays Persona 5 Royal. It's me, Stoned Owl, Luke Brizendine. You know, you know me. Last time, we did a... Just a lot of things. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. Just like that, there will not be a single hitch in this plan. We will never have to go to the metaverse again. Anyways, on this episode, we have to... Uh, we've gone we've gone from uh, the goal previously, which was live an honest student life, to uncover Kamoshida's abuses. Which seems like a real uh, step in a direction. Not necessarily a good one, but it is a direction. Anyways, enough dilly-dallying. Let's go to bed and hopefully not see a long nose man. Oh, and we're getting texted. Ryuji, I swear to- it's Ryuji. We ended up at that weird place when we used this nav app, right? I found it on my phone too. I don't even remember installing it. <laughs> deleted it once. I deleted it earlier, but it came back. I think it's being downloaded on its own somehow. It's dangerous to use something without knowing what it is, but with it we can go to the palace, right? Seems like it. Basically, it's gonna depend on how we use it, but we first gotta find evidence for the beatings. I'm counting on you, all right? Don't go ditching school on me. <sighs> I kinda want to, though. I did once uh, in my last year uh, of schooling, skip a day of school. <laughs> To, w to watch Emperor's New Groove. Not for the first time, probably for like the 10th time. Not the 10th time I skipped school to watch, but the 10th time I watched it, so you know. I've skipped school for lesser. Let's go to sleep. I'm gonna actually, no. No, don't, no, don't put me in the, are they gonna explain confidence to me? I can do this to the, cha I can do this myself. Oh, fucking hell. Give me that little bite. Give me a little bite. I'm angry. Welcome to the velvet room. No, you welcome to the velvet fuck off. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? It's a prison. Yeah. <laughs> ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. Just like these bars. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Shit, shit, shit. Is he really the first friend we make? Regrettably so, yes. Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. All part of the plan. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. Well, then... Uh I hate to tell you, Igor, but then I may have already failed. <laughs> Can we just cut back to last episode when I literally said, Oh, he paid for me. I'm starting to see the benefits of this friendship. <laughs> it's just like real friends. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. Uh-huh. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. <laughs> I love the bad cop, badder cop relationship these two have. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Friends equal power. I think I get it. This is one of the biggest mechanics in Persona games, uh, at least three through five. Confidants are people who trust you, who share a similar goal. Find these people in places like school or around town. Try forming bonds with these people by visiting uh, them multiple times, earning their trust, and proving your value. Just prove you're a necessity to them. Once you have formed a bond, you can open the menu with a uh, triangle and select a confidant to check the strength of your relationships. 
I'll explain this more thoroughly later because the benefits of this don't really make sense right now, and how it's a game mechanic doesn't really make sense right now uh, until a bit later in the game. But it's one of it's it's a very fun mechanic. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions <laughs> will not come to fruition. <laughs> Don't tell me my second friend's gonna be fucking Igor. <laughs> we have a deal. No. Feels like Igor has high expect. Motherfucker. No, no. <laughs> Don't even give me the speech. I know where this is going. Ugh. But either way, this starts to explain one thing at Confidants. Look at that, we're rank one with them. He gave us the ability, Wild Talk, allows you to negotiate with shadows after performing a holdup. We'll get into what that specifically means later, but essentially, every Confidant you make gives you different abilities in the game that all kind of pertains to their personality in some way. It's really, really cool. Um, the other purpose Confidants serve, like I said, we'll get into later, but it's just so you know, this is cool. Look at how cool this is. It's cool! It's rank one! It's cool! Um... Oh, and also Arcana Burst! Earn bonus EXP when fusing personas based on their- We don't- We're not doing that yet. All right. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Cool! Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. Well, lovely as always. She's like a sunflower on a sunny day because it just can't get any better. Anyways, let's this Wednesday. <laughs> How annoying. We barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? Right? Dissatisfied first year? Also, look, look, it's two, it's two characters behind us. Oh my god. And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. Wait a second, what? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Man, you still got it, coach. Thanks. Let's go for one more. <laughs> Poor dejected kids. I look great. Uh, pretty boring. Right? <laughs> Hello, sad girl. <laughs> oh, dear God in heaven. He's dead. Fucking spiked on him. You get that saw. He'll pay soon enough. Oh, I thought it was gonna hit him. Right, let's resume the match. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. I take back what I said about looking good in my outfit. I wanna change. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima? Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that part. Now is our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. That's not a thing you say out loud. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. Yeah. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. I don't. All right, see you later. Oh, you're coming with me too. Crap. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D, so let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Maybe it's because of your terrible body odor. Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat. I shower. We've talked about this. We can quick travel. Hey. Who cares? Let's go. Because we're gonna... We're gonna make our way ourselves. How do I... How do I leave this location? Hold on, can I have vending machine? Hey. 
Ryuji, you ruin everything. Um, you should stay from what? It's fine. <sighs> all right. I'm sure these kids will be very willing to comply with us and tell us all of their worries and troubles about the teacher. <laughs> okay, this guy has so many uh, bandages on his face. It's it's almost comical. It is comical. Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, transfer. Hey. Hey, that's the guy who hey. was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? Let's 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 be more leading. How did you get injured? It's from practice. What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Well, Ryuji, never mind my whole tactic. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. Oh my god. I I don't know what you're talking about. You're a coward. Nah, nah, we'll be nice. Are you afraid? I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Yeah, just let me take you to the castle. Well, uh, I... Ryuji doesn't agree with my idea, but I think it's smart. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. Ah, uh, yes, on to more successful missions like this one. Oh my god, we can split up. I guess that'd be faster. Yeah, it would. I'll take the practice building for Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> sure, I got it. It'll be great. It's 3C. I know where that is, probably. <laughs> what did you just say about me? God, I just love my run animation. I look like a man on a mission. Got to find room. 3C, it's right here. I see it. I don't see any students with noticeable injuries. <sighs> Beans. Hey! These two girls that really enjoy me. Hi! Yeah? Everyone's saying a lot of bad stuff about that transfer student in your class, and <laughs> <laughs> No, they're not. Man, cleaning up after the volleyball rally is gonna be such goddamn pain. Now, what do you want? Oh, he's got... He's, he's gone pirate. Okay, he's not good. You got something to say? You on the volleyball team? So what if I am? This is his one hand gesture. Hey, I know who this guy is. He's that transfer student who's been hanging out with Sakamoto. Sakamoto. Oh, I can't stop doing that hand wave. I'm gonna hurt you again. I mean, shit. <laughs> I'm not doing much to help my reputation. Oh, I get it. You're trying to snoop on Mr. Kamashita, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course our practices are gonna be tough. Mr. Kamashita is just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything, Sak- Sak- Fuck. Shit. Sakamoto. Says? That's corporal punishment. Cheers. Don't talk like you know! <laughs> hey, we should stop talking to him. What if he loses it and starts attacking us? He's got a good point there. I heard he even carries a knife around. It's a toy gun? Anyways. How's it going? He, you tell me first. No good. Everyone's too freaked out about Kamoshida. But I still gotta lead a first year new member. He just joined, so he might be all wrapped up in Kamoshida's web of bullshit yet. <laughs> You're so... You word things so poetically. I'm glad we have these nice spring... Uh, spring blossoms behind you. Um, to, to really just show the pure niceness of you. Go ask Rob the first year, see if you can find him. Alright, let's go find a fucking weirdo. Yo, Kamashita, he's getting real mean. I hear he beats his students and makes them lean because they don't eat to be good. At volleyball. Yeah, that's right. They're in the hall. They're hiding all their pains because they're sad. I don't, I just want to help. Why does everyone hate me? I just want to help. <laughs> uh, okay, you look like you're her. Oh, yeah, you've got the you've got the marks Huh? Yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? I need information What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah, no, that's sensible Mr. Kamashia doesn't want us talking to sketchy people like you If he saw me here, he totally give me his special coaching Oh no, just like he did with Mishima-senpai. Ah, 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 ah. 
<laughs> Ask someone else if you want to know anything more. Oh shit. Attention, attention. All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home for today. Beans, just when it was getting interesting. Damn it! We're out of time! I just like to imagine that's that's how he texts me. How'd it go? <laughs> Take a wild guess. So you didn't have any luck either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you in the courtyard? Yeah. Can I talk to you for a sec? I'm trying to buy cracker right now. I've tried this three times and you're not, I don't think, fine. What is it? It'll be quick. Thanks. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? Well, you just sure know how to make it a good first impression one that you do. Yeah, oh God, I really fouled out on that one, huh? Spun out a real car wreck right there. Just like in the beginning of the game. What do you want with him? Oh man, I'm in the custody battle. Right back at you. You're not even in our class. Yeah, Ryuji, you're not even in our class. <laughs> Get out, this is my new friend. She's like you, but not bad. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy buddy with Kamoshida after all. Oh no. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? <laughs> That's the part we're gonna focus on? Okay. What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I think you're on the cover of the game, so watch your mouth right there, little miss, little miss lady person. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Well, she seems fun. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? You say that? Okay, fine. She seemed annoyed. She's been like that since middle school. Annoyed perpetually. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Wow, it's so convenient you ask. <laughs> I could say these wrong things, but no, it was Mishima. Huh? Special coaching, huh? Yeah. True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Oh, I w oh, it's like that? I thought he was just helping him get really good. Oh. I'm starting to think this Kamashita guy is a little mean. <laughs> There's a real twist and turn in the story here. Hey, got a second? That's a very aggressive start. This kid is like looks like he's about to shatter like glass. Don't don't come on so hard. Sakamoto? And you too. I am Owlboy Stone. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. <laughs> he he doesn't look nearly as confident as his voice sounds. We saw him spike you today, right in the face. <laughs> that was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. He's really not good at the sport. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Bro, Kamoshida, we were just talking about you. Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. <laughs> you're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Ryuji's gonna take a stand. I'm perfectly comfortable where I am. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from the school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? This is one of my favorite lines in the game. 
You have an amazing spike. Just don't get in the way of my practice. So fucking good. It's where you you f see. I'm a rebel. I'm a little rebel boy. It's f don't you get it, Mishima? It's because he hit you. He hit you with the ball. I was there. I saw it. I saw it with my eyes. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Ooh. Get with the program. Ooh. Yes, sir. That asshole. Fucking chillingly evil. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. Principal, our parents, they all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Spikes, spikes to the face. Shouldn't you, of all people, know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. Are you gonna quit? No, I ain't giving up. Damn it! I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. Or I could go to the other world. Or I could go home, I guess. We're out for all the stuff that happened today. I should probably have to sleep soon. Fun fact, I used to call it Cafe LeBlanc because I was fucking stupid. Yeah, so like I was saying, that that that's a the that's that's a day in the game that um I just really like. Um Persona 4 tried to have some stuff that was kind of like that, where you have to go around, like, town and investigate about people. It's done with much more finesse and variety in this game. And, and that day in particular, like I was saying earlier about, uh, j just, like, the way it, it does a genuinely really good job of capturing, like... Again, while Kamashita's a very over-the-top, ab abusive, uh, teacher, they, there's a very, like, real... Uh, way in, in in which the the it's handled and, and portrayed again, which it, it's like very that's a very difficult thing to do. The sort of like, oh, I I can't fess up about these injustices or else. But but it kind of like you can mentally connect the dots and they lay a lot of groundwork where it's like, the, this volleyball team's the only thing keeping the school afloat and like, you know, it, it, every all the students kind of have an inkling to what's going on. But what are they gonna do? They can't speak. Uh, or else they're gonna be in the dungeon. Oh, booga. The principal and the parents know about the abuse. Why ain't anybody speaking up? Cause, because volleyball. He just summed up everything I said in two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Good talk. Dear diary, today I was really bad at interrogations. Another great day in the life of me. There he goes. No more, no more weird dreams. Please, no weird dream. Yay, we did it. We made it to the next day. Oh, no, no text. No, no, I don't. I'm a good boy. I don't text in class. So about witnesses. I was wondering if we could get something out of Takamaki. Fuck, Takamaki. I don't remember. I'm going to play dumb. She's not on the team. Just hear me out. You know, we didn't get a thing out of the volleyball team. I figured it'd be a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. Takamaki's BFFs with the starter, a girl named Suzui. Banjo and Suzui. <laughs> I tried to talk to that girl during break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have Takamaki talk to her. Takamaki. I, I seriously can't remember how to pronounce her last name. I feel bad about this. Then again, I guess it'll be hard getting her to help us. Sorry. Let me see what else I can come up with. <laughs> Good talk. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. Oh. Did they add an extra bruise or am I imagining? Either way, it's still sad. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice too? I guess I I guess I did it. I guess I was right. Y yeah. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. I hate to ruin the moment, but I just got really jarred by seeing the same kid, like, walk in the background twice in a row. Oh, oh there he is again. Anyway, sorry, back to the emotional scene. I should get going. 
Shiho. Are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Oh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Oh. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Okay, we f I got this part. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Go oh, fuck yourself. Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. Oh, and you too, though. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Hello, girl. What? Oh god. <laughs> she got me. Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. Add this to the list of things you're not good at. No, oh, I feel terrible. I genuinely, my heart breaks for this poor girl. I'm sorry too. That seems like a nice way to covertly like, I'm sorry too. Not prodding her. Oh, no, it's totally my fault. I shouldn't have been spacing out like that. I was trying to metaphorically speak about your situation with Kamoshida, but I can now see that I failed in doing that and thus feel awful. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? That's me. I'm the killer. Manslaughter. Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? Cool. <laughs> they don't bother me. I'm glad to hear that. My best friend is often misunderstood, too. All because of her looks. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Oh. God, I forgot about these past days. What the hell? Ryuji, I'm in the middle of talking here! <laughs> I just forgot about the emotional uh, quality of these days. They're really... They're really good. My heart hurts. My heart hurts real bad. Did you find someone? <sighs> Is that what it looks like? Okay, if you're gonna be all prissy about it. All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. Dude, I agree. But could you stop bogarting the cracker machine? I just want to buy an energizing drink. Or, an, or if they have written, if they have written on the door to it, energy. That's great. That's a winner right there. We should have started with that. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? And I know. And I know every fucking episode with these musical references. And that one's going to get me in trouble because that's Drake Bell. By the way, okay, guys, I really hate to divert the energy, but this is a true fact that's really dear to my heart. You would think that an album by Drake Bell wouldn't be that good. Yo, he did one. He did one way back when it's called It's Only Time. It was a little cheesy because, you know. He was working for Nickelodeon, but uh, the songs themselves are fucking great. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You, If you can get down with the cheesiness, it is a fucking great album. It's called It's Only Time. It's by Drake Bell. It has great bangers on it. It also has an acoustic version of Found A Way, which, you know, I mean, you gotta have Found A Way. But this diversion is bad. Back to the volleyball game no way i'm gonna give in like this can you think of anything drake bell's album yes <laughs> neither of these are good but calling the cops definitely isn't gonna do anything so i'm gonna go wild how about a sneak attack that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught but if we did we'd be seriously done for don't worry i bring a knife to school you got any other ideas How about a sneak attack? That'd be fine if we got it. How about a sneak? Okay, we should call the cops. So you want to tell them about the castle? They never believe. You know what? You've ridden me into a corner, Ryuji. Have any other ideas? 
I swear to God, if I'm stuck in here for the rest of my day. What do we do? Oh! <laughs> now they give me option number three. So how about sneak attack? Okay, let's punish the king. The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? Yes, that is what I meant. Totally. I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! Faker! <laughs> oh, what, wrong game, sorry. Oh, shit! Can you say something? <laughs> oh, dude, it's the fucking cat, though. Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. Quick! Throw water at it! That voice. Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day? The cat's talking? Yeah. I am not a cat. This is just what happened when I came to this world. <laughs> you became a cat. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Ooh, you're a good kitty. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? <laughs> Why is that his takeaway? <laughs> Does that his delivery too? Fucking. <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. <laughs> Ryuji is not... not too happy about this. I don't really mind. You hearing this too? <laughs> I'll quote one of the finest movies in the past ten years. Uh, Meow? meow? Okay! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. Kill him. You were pretty close just a moment ago. Yeah. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. Dude, we've been talking to it for five minutes. Get on the... Come on. Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? Uh-oh. I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Don't worry, that was me, guys. I was doing a bit. <sighs> Make sure you check every nook and cranny around. And nook's cranny. <laughs> oh, wait. When this video has come out, it's probably been a month since New Horizons. So never mind. My thing. Meow? <laughs> Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier... Is it for real? For real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. What? Oh, yeah, I guess that is a good insult. I was about to call that into question, but no, that's a good one. Good job, Morgana. You insulted the dumb boy. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. <laughs> it should be just small enough to fit. <laughs> Fucking yanked him. Don't be so rough with me. You good kitty. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. Oh, his castle. Oh. Yeah, yeah, got it. That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... His desires would go to... Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. They call me Sonic Boy. For real? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Oh, good that we're not doing some weird time travel stuff. Not that I have any experience in that. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. This is completely random, but I'm calling it now. The next Persona game is probably going to be directed by someone else, because this new version of Persona 5 had a different director than the guy who directed OG Persona 5. And the guy who directed Persona 3, 4, 5 is, uh, I think he's done. I think the next Persona game is going to have time travel. Just fucking wait. 
As, years from now, this clip will be una unearthed, and I will be declared stupid and wrong. Anyways. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamashita down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! Yeah! True. Except for the cat part. Oh! You guys and your dialogue. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? <laughs> what? You, are you a baby? You don't like stealing? Guess what? We gotta get along in this world somehow. I'm like taking things. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Just want to jump. <laughs> what? What? I don't know where that came from. Alex running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. You're right. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. These are some very philosophical points that are coming up that we're promptly going to ignore for the next 100 hours, I feel. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? I mean... Yeah... Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? I don't want to kill- I'm in- That's it, that's it, that is, that is, this is pure owlboy energy right here. This is our character. He's not necessarily bad. He's not so, he's chaotic neutral. Is that it? Is that him? Either way, I'm interested. For real? For real, man. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. Oh, we're cool though, and we have the outfits, and we wear pants. I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Scram, kitty. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. <laughs> Good luck with that. I wonder what the other students are saying. I should listen in as I go. What if the what the fuck is wrong with you, old boy? That's great and all, but hold the phone. Are you fucking kidding me? I will kill. Oh, cool. Obediently return home. I like how it's not just return home. Obediently return home. That is me, the puppy dog. Poor boy. Am I still going the right way? This would be fucking great if I was. Oh. Will you please give it a rest? I told you I'm not feeling up to it. Hey, Anne, I'm trying to end an episode here. You're not gonna... Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? Aw, oh, jeez. I was thinking that we were at the end of the... Well, fuck. This has nothing to do with Shiho. Please don't turn my way. Please don't turn my way. Please don't turn my... Oh, and, oh, she's just crying. She has starting position. Well, hi. Wait, were you listening? No. <sighs> Which one's better? You know what? Honesty is a policy. Not a, it's just one of a thousand. I was eavesdropping. Haven't you heard of privacy? Nope. So, how much did you hear? Something about a friend. Shio. It's 
nothing at all. Well, that's not... It clearly it... Okay, we're gonna have to do this whole thing, huh? <sighs> this really ain't gonna help my reputation, is it? Alright, I'm gonna go chase a girl. That is fine. No, it's cool. I'm into it. I mean, I'm not into it, but I, I mean, I'm into achieving my dreams. I didn't see where she ran. I'm gonna guess it was here. There she go. Get the fuck back here. I'll stomp on you. I mean, I'm your friend. Trust me. And, and brother, brother in arms. Hello. Stop following me. No, I can't. Why? Why do you keep worrying about me? Shut up and kiss me. I mean, not that. I just need you to help bad. <laughs> I made her cry. Let's go somewhere safe. What the heck? I really don't get you. Listen, babe, I'm just a cool guy. I'm a trickster. <laughs> That's his fucking catchphrase. I'm a tr I'm a trickster. I don't have anything to talk about with you. Okay. It was just an argument. Guess we'll just drink in silence then. With a here, I won't be that prying. With a teacher? You heard every last word then. I heard the last words. Yes. And we've gone to anime. You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. <laughs> but that's so not true. So stone-faced. That was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. You know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. <laughs> what? What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. Whew. It's just... It's so hard to navigate these cutscenes just because they're they're just really upsetting. It's just sad. This poor girl, this poor girl, poor school. That dang Kamashita, I'm gonna show him a thing or two. You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. I am a weirdo. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. <laughs> I'm... I'm bad to the bone. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? No. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? Oh. I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. It's funny that you say that. <laughs> As if something like that would ever happen. Ha 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 It could happen. I wasn't asking for a serious response. Oh. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Oh, good luck with that. Well, thanks. Suzui. No! Mr. Kamashita's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Convenient. On. Oh no. You're late. Where have you been? <sighs> Sergio. Listen. So there was this castle, right? <laughs> By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? I actually made a friend. Huh. Well, they've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Go fuck yourself, Sanjiro. 